If you can get your hand on an audio interface similar to this one here, setting up GarageBand with your guitar is fairly straightforward. This video will break down how to do that and the several options that you have. This is a common setup for GarageBand. I'm connected to my MacBook Pro here with GarageBand already loaded and there's a guitar track selected here and it's ready to roll. Over to the left here I've got my audio interface. Audio interface. It's a Focusrite Scarlet 2i4 and in front you'll see that my guitar is plugged in here. And the important thing that you want to do is make sure that the instrument is selected as it is here on that little button um, that's selected to the right there. Moving along to the back, I have it set up. I have these are two outputs going to my monitor speakers so I can hear them nice and uh, clear uh, on either side of the room. And this is the USB connector here that goes to my computer and ultimately connects to my MacBook Pro here. Now the more ma modern MacBook Pros have a different adapter or a different USB port. You can use this adapter here if that's your particular case. Now you do have a couple different output options as well for the audio. Um, like I say I use these two here for my output to speakers. But you could also just play them out of your speakers here on your MacBook Pro. Or you could get an external speaker such as this brazen speaker here and plug it into your computer like this. Another option is you could listen to headphones such as these here. And you could simply plug the headphones into your computer here. And then another option you have is running your headphones directly into the audio interface into this jack right here, which you can control the volume um, and obviously that's great if you need to be quiet. Um, so you just plug the headphones into the jack right here. Another thing that you can do is use one or more guitar pedals with your, imp with your audio interface. So in this case, I'm using the Tumnus foot pedal here. And um, the guitar is coming in and out of the jacks here. And they go into the audio interface here. Now that we're into GarageBand, the key things to focus are on. This is the track here that I created. Um, this is an audio track, and you can create new tracks by going to the drop down here and selecting new track. You can see you have several different options, but when I'm setting up my guitar, I usually select an audio track and then I'll actually custom build my guitar. But you can choose a guitar track, and, and that's a much easier way to go, and they have pre configured guitars that you can use. This is another key section down here. Um, these are where your plugins are located, which are very key. Um, some of the more uh, important plugins are your amp designer here, which is going to break down which amp you have um, and allow you to select several different amps with the options down here. And you can configure your microphone with this selection here. Uh, you can configure how loud you want it to be and select all these different options on your amplifier here and you can even move your uh, microphone around in front of your amp to get several different sounds. Another key plug-in is the pedal board here. Similar to the Tumnus that I just showed you on the front end, this allows you to um, create several more pedal boards that you can use with your guitar to um, create a lot of really cool effects from distortion to chorus to um, fuzz and a few others. So over here on your left um, you can see all the different um, pedal boards that come with GarageBand and um, they're selected over here on the right and um, you can turn your pedal board off by clicking this button here or clicking it back on to have the whole pedal board on and then you can turn your individual pedals on and off as well right here. Another key section that you want to take a look at are your audio preferences. I just unplugged my um, 
audio interface off, but if it were selected, if it was still plugged in, I could select it here. And that's what I'd do in my case because I'd be using it as my output device where I showed you it's going to the monitors. And then I'd be using it as an input fight device for my guitar. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below.